Oh my god, look at this room, you guys. This is amazing. Welcome back to episode number 28, I do believe, of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire playthrough. As you can see here, you guys, we're in the champion room. And if you don't know who the hell's waiting on the other side of this do big ass door, then you're about to have the shock of your life. Either way, oh my god, it opens as you walk. That is powerful. Game Freak. You've already impressed me enough with the remake of your, of your games, but, oh my god, Steven has got to be, oh, spoilers, I'm sorry guys, I spoiled it for you, to any newcomers on that are on the Pokemon scene, it is in fact Steven as you can see here, just this alone just looks so dramatic, you know, in X and Y, Diantha was just there waiting for you, Steven is waiting for you, but he's, he's got his back turned to you. That's just like, he's been expecting you this whole time, and then he turns around, and it's like, why, hello. Welcome, Gibbs. I was hoping I would get to see you make it here one day. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? What have you felt, meeting so many other trainers out there? Traveling this rich land of Hoenn, has it awoken something inside you? I want you to come at me with all that you've learned. My Pokemon and I will respond in turn with all that we know. Let it begin. And I'm going to turn up the volume for this, you guys, because this music is just powerful. Ready? That intro and everything, it's just so powerful. I didn't want to oh, like talk over just because it's so amazing. Okay, I don't know. I think Thunderbolt is going to do more than Flamethrower just because it's like stab and everything. Even though Flamethrower is super effective because it's steel, Thunderbolt is still effective because it's flying. So I'm going to go ahead and ask... Oh, wait, no, because it's got sturdy, hasn't it? What do we... <sighs> so whatever we do is going to get sturdy no matter what. It's probably going to set up the spikes. I do remember... I think, I think Steven in the originals, like in Ruby and Sapphire, I think he let off with his Skarmory and like set up the spikes and what have you. But either way, we're going to Mega Evolve. Oh no, you know what? I should have Mega Evolved my Swamp Hurt. Oh, why didn't I do that? It would have been like Mega Swamp Hurt versus Me Mega Metagross. Oh, why the hell did I not do that instead? I mean, this is just going to take him down to Sturdy. I mean, Thunderbolt normally would have taken him down to Sturdy, but we are in fact... Under leveled here, you guys, because I think you know his lead off right on the bat is two levels above Drake's ace. Because I mean, as you can see, there it's level 57. We're only level 56. But okay, so he's gonna go ahead and probably yeah, he is gonna heal up his scarm reef. So I went here for the flamethrower. I mean, just to break this. We're well, not break necessarily break the sturdy, but take him down to sturdy. And I don't actually think he's gonna heal up again. I think he's just gonna go ahead and just sack off his scarm reef, just because. You know, the whole point of Sturdy Skarmory is just to set up spikes, stealth rocks, and then pretty much you can just whirlwind them out. Or you can move stuff, because I mean, isn't like a Stall Skarmory's moveset, like, because Stall Skarmory is pretty big in um, it's, it's, um defense and special defense, because I mean, isn't like a Stall Skarmory necessarily run um, spikes, stealth rock, maybe toxic spikes, and either roost, well, well, sparks or, spikes or toxic spikes, and then roost and whirlwind. Just because, you know, it can heal up, and then it can whirlwind you out. Honestly, Skarmory is just... Skarmory is just too OP in my eyes. Let's go ahead and go for the Earthquake here. I mean, even though this isn't a Mega Swampert, it should still kill the Agron. Unless it has Sturdy. I see you there, Steven. Steven Stone the Champion. That doesn't even do that much damage, just because it's not stabbing everything. But okay, so I don't actually think you're going to heal. So let's go for ahead and go for Waterfall. Oh, you withdrew. Wait a second, I think I know what you're doing. Yes. Okay, so I made the safe bet of going with the Waterfall just to get the Oko. But Steven actually predicted that I was going to go for another Earthquake. And actually swap out into Claydol. Now, if you guys don't know, you can obviously see that Claydol is floating in the air. So Claydol has got Levitate. And that um, Earthquake would have been Null and Void. Either way, Claydol does go down due to my 
fantastic prediction. I mean, it wasn't a prediction, it was just based on the draw, because you don't really see NPCs, like, swapping out that much, really. It's just, you know, look at the draw, I guess. If I did go for Earthquake and he did swap out, it would have been, like, one of the bad things to come, I guess you could say. And, you know, that wouldn't really really even matter. He probably would have just set up a light screen or a... Oh, my God, do you have Giga Drain? No! Oh, no. That was a crit. Oh, but I forgot. Cray Dilly was grass typing. God damn it. Our starter goes down, you guys. Question is, who are we going to go into now? You know what? Let's go out into four round. Let's see how much a dynamic punch does. Because we do have dynamic punch now. And it only has five PP. But as I say, you guys, if it does land, which it will, because we have no guard, the user will get confused. Let's just see how much damage this does, though. That does a hell of a lot of damage. That Earthquake, I mean, Earthquake is neutral. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that Grass resists ground. But even though, uh, and we all know gr rock is super ground is super effective to rock. Or is it the other way around? Either way, rock is weak against ground. But either way, Agron comes back out. So, pretty sure we'll have Sweden and Agron, no problem. But I don't know what the hell I'm going to do against this Mega Metagross, though. That's a problem. That's a problem. Not, I'm not waiting to find out. But he's used another full restore, so... Does he have many full restores left? That's what I want to know. But either way, he's going to get confused here. But, I mean, we should Oko... We, well, I mean, we have an Oko, it. We should knock it out just because Agron is pretty slow. Not even going to lie. So, quick knockoff. We'll kill it. Next up, you're going to go out into... Well, after we get our lever up on 4-round here. 4-round has actually been pretty good for this Elite 4 challenge. I'm not even going to lie. Armando. Hmm. Armando is Rock Bug. I've just had to revise my typings now just because of the fact that Swampert went down. Rock Bug. What can we do against a Rock Bug? The only thing I can think of is a Water-type move. But, obviously, because our Niagara is down... The only other water type we have is Tempest. And I don't really want to use Tempest because then that's just overkill. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go out into Tempest. I'm only going to use Tempest this time, you guys. Like, in this, the whole time in this Elite Four, like, in this battle. Because I don't know what the hell his Mega Metagross is going to do to me. I know that it's got Giga Impact or something like that. So I'm thinking... If we go out into um, Terra Vault and we flamethrower, hopefully we can snag a burn. Or if we should we just Thunder Wave it right off the bat? Because then it might hit Paralysis. Oh, we got so many options with Terra Vault here. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and Origin Pulse this Armaldo. I'm hoping it hits, which it doesn't. And, oh my god, Armaldo, why you do so much damage with X Scissor though? But either way, we do hit the Origin Pulse the second time round. That, of course, is going to be super effective, and down goes the Armando. And now, you guys, this is a threat that's going to come out very, very soon. Right after we get, like, experience on everyone. Metagross. This is a threat. You know what? I'm really glad that I'm Mega Evolved my Manetric now instead of my Swamp Up, because I actually generally forgot that Credily was Rock Grass typing. Well, I knew it was Rock. I didn't know it was Grass. But I'm glad now that we have more power to deal with this intimidating and opposing threat that, against, that is against us. Unfortunately, though, we don't get the Intimidate off just because of Clear Body. And now a, a really, really true threat is coming. Oh my god. Shiny Mega Metagross is powerful enough, but Mega Metagross... Oh my god. Hopefully we can get a burn. No, Mia Mash. That's a dead Manetric. With tough claws and everything, that's a dead man. Oh. No, it's not. Electric resists steel, I guess. So I guess it's a dead Metagross. It is. Okay, guys. So that wasn't actually the outcome I expected. Because, what, doesn't he have Giga Impact, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, and Bullet Punch? Why does he have Earthquake? But either way, you guys, we did take on Champion Steven. Honestly, the best champion in my opinion. So I, the champion, fall in defeat. Oh.
Justify is that I have come to expand. Gibbs, you are truly you are truly an excellent Pokemon trainer. Congratulations to you, and thank you. I'd wanted to learn how you feel about this world. What kinds of ideals you have developed with your Pokemon? I feel I was able to find the answer in our battle. The feelings you have for your Pokemon, and the way that your Pokemon gave their all in battle in response to those feelings, those two together created a great power. That is how you seize victory today. I felt a thrill of excitement in my breast when we first met, and I now know for sure that that feeling was not misplaced. You are rightfully the Hoenn region's new... Oh, what? Brendan? Gibbs, before you go to challenge the champion, I've got one last thing you've got to... Huh? Gibbs, you didn't. No, you couldn't have. Did you already beat the champion? On oh, Professor Birch, what voice did I give you? See? What did I say, Brendan? Didn't I tell you that Gibbs will be just fine? Gibbs, you finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father, the Petalberg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion. But congratulations on today's victory. Now go in there with your head held high. Gibbs, now I should call you the whole region's new Pokemon League champion. Come with me, champion. Uh, Brendan, I don't know where the hell you're going. I'm very sorry. But only a trainer who has successfully become the champion may go beyond this point. You'll need to wait outside with the professor. What? Can't be helped, I guess. Them's the rules, right? That's awesome, Gibbs. Congratulations. Really. God damn it, why wasn't I the champion? I wanted to be the champion. But here we are, you guys. In the Hall of Fame. And I'm saying... When the... Wait, what? how does the song go? And the... Oh my god, that song is by Labyrinth, it's just gonna, is it by Labyrinth? I'm gonna look so stupid if it's not by Labyrinth. And the world's gonna know your name, Gibbs. This room, this is where we maintain the records of Pokemon that prevailed through the harshest of battles. It is here that Pokemon League champions are honoured. Come, we will use this machine to record your name and the names of the partners who battled along with you to triumph over the Pokemon League. So that's it, guys. That's the well. That's the that's the one ending of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire playthrough. Because as you guys know, we have the Delta episode book coming up. But just look at this. Congratulations on becoming Pokemon League Champion. Well done, guys. You did it. You did your role. And now that, unfortunately, President didn't even get a shout, a shout in in the uh, Pokemon League Challenge. I am sorry, President, but you were powerful nonetheless. You really helped us out in some gyms. But that's it, guys. That's the Hall of Fame. And that wraps up the main story of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Welcome back, Gibbs. I just, uh, you know. We set out on this journey together, right? So maybe we should finish it together too. Don't go trying to read anything into it, though. Now come on, we're going home. Back to Luru Town. And then the two ride off into the sunset. Okay guys. So as you can probably tell. Just had to let the camera focus in a bit then. We're here against Pokemon Trainer Brendan. And the reason why I didn't show the credits and everything. Just because my um, because my battery was running out. My DS battery was running out. So... Give it a little bit of charge just so we can do this battle before we wrap this episode up against the champion and what have you. So I am sorry that I had to skip out the credits a bit, but my charger 
it's a it's not only just a little bit broken it's like broken a bit and i know that you guys can probably tell yes the camera has moved just because you know my charger is like one of those little like awkward ones where the um where pretty much you have to keep it on an elevated surface just so um you know it can charge pretty much and it's not charging right now so i know like you can't see like the full thing like the full pictures just because you could before but I just really want to get this battle done and out of the way because I just didn't really want to cut this battle out and just make it so the last episode is, um, you know, just against Steven and what have you. I didn't really want to do that. So I'm going to get this battle as quickly as I can done for you guys. I'm not going to, probably not going to show the bit where it's like, where it shows the cutscene between our mom and Norman talking. I'm probably not going to do that. I don't know. It depends like how much battery life I have left. Because I mean, I charged the battery throughout that whole entire cut, like cutscene with um, where they're on the bikes and then credits are rolling. I did it through that, so whether or not the battery will last until then, because I mean, I saw it flashing red, like the last little bit, you know, just after we battled Steven, and I thought I I forgot to charge my DS last night, and it, it's not just that; it was when I was um, you know, charging the um. Or capturing, I should say, capturing the um, Cobalion as well. So I didn't actually have uncharged then, so I do apologise for that, guys. And my battery, my phone battery is running on low battery as well. This is, this is not good. I feel like I'm on a time rush right now. I feel like, literally, we have to get everything done just before everything goes kaput. Because, you know, I, it could stop recording in, in the middle while, while I'm mid-sentence or something. And I don't really want that to happen. So, either way, we're going to go ahead and just wrap up this battle really quick, because this is just, this is a um, mandatory battle with Brendan here that you have to do with him. But, we all know what the outcome's going to be, because I mean, just look how we're sweeping him right now. And then, of course, he's going to have his Sceptile, which I'm fairly certain is Mega. You know what, even though President didn't get a Shining on the Elite Four and the Champion... He's going to have one right now. He's going to have one. He's going to have the privilege of taking out the Sceptile. So either way, let's go ahead and Brave Bird this thing. And I mean, I'm pretty certain a, a, um, a Swallow with Brave Bird should be able to take out a Mega Sceptile. It should. I'm hoping it does. Otherwise, I think that's a dead president. And I really don't want anyone to die in this final battle. Yes, it does. Okay, there we go. It's down. It's done. It's over with. It's over with. It's good. It's good. Can we hurry up and get on with the cutscene, please? <sighs> Thanks, Gibbs. Just what I expect from a champion. Getting to meet so many different people. And so many different Pokemon. It's like... I don't know. It's been really, really fun. Oh, thanks, man. I've enjoyed the journey, too, you know. I'm glad that you've kept me company. Oh! Look, Gibbs. Look there. Look at the shooting stars and everything. So as I say, guys, that's the end of the story. This is the end of the main story. We've done it. We've defeated the champion. We've done the Elite Four. We've done everything. Apart from one thing. And that's a Delta episode. So if you guys are hyped for that and you have enjoyed the series so far, make sure you go ahead and smash the hell out of the like button for us. Just so I know... That you guys have enjoyed this series so much. And you know what? We may have a, another series coming up. Whether or not it's something to do with Oras or 6th Generation. But I'm fairly certain we're going to have a, a Nuzlocke of Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. Probably Omega Ruby. Just because I don't want to like oversave this save file. Just because it's got the legends on it and everything. But this cutscene takes so long. Literally, my phone is percentage and everything is dying. I don't understand why I had to wait this long. I really don't.
Can we get on with it, please? Let's just turn it up a little bit. Just so you guys can hear the music. Norman? Norman? Sorry, I know you're watching your show, but... And then the sound just cuts out. Hmm, what is it? You do remember that we plan to go and watch the meteor shower in Moss Deep. Ah, about that. I've been meaning to tell you, but... It looks like I'm going to have to be at the gym that day. Oh, well, work is work, I suppose. So what, did he get paid for being a gym leader? I'm sorry, honey. No, it's fine. No, really, it's fine. But, what should we do with the tickets we bought? Hmm, that's true. We already paid for them, so... Oh, snap. To be continued. Indeed, the series is going to be con continued. We are officially going to start the Delta episode on Monday, you guys. So, make sure you go ahead and stay tuned for that. And to make sure you stay tuned for that, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for the latest Auto Tech content. As I said before, you guys, if you have enjoyed the series so far, we're not done yet, so far. Make sure you smash the hell out of that like button down below first. Make sure you answer the co question comment of the day as well. And as always, you guys, follow me up on Twitter if you have a Twitter account and you're not following me to do yet for more behind-the-scenes action from me. And as always, if you want to battle or trade with me sometime, leave your friend code in the description below. But as we wrap up the main series of this game, let's go ahead and watch the opening cutscene one more to end off the main game. Honestly, you guys, you guys are amazing. I've been Gibber Grey, this has been Alpha Sapphire, the main game, and this is me, signing off.